simplify 64 divided by 125 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 plus reciprocal of 256 divided by 625 raised to the power 1 by 4 plus square root of 25 divided by cube root of 64. Now let us consider 64 upon 125 raised to the power minus 2 by 3. According to the laws of exponents, we know that x raised to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon x raised to the power m. So we can also say that x upon y raised to the power minus m is equal to y upon x raised to the power m. So using this rule, we can write 64 upon 125 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 as 125 divided by 64 raised to the power 2 by 3. Further, 125 is 5 raised to the power 3 and 64 is 2 raised to the power 6. Then whole raised to the power 2 by 3. We know that x raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to x raised to the power m multiplied by n. So using this rule, we can write it as 5 raised to the power multiplication of 3 and 2 by 3 and then divided by 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 2 by 3. 3 in multiplication with 2 by 3 is result is 2. So it is 5 raised to the power 2. In denominator, 6 and 3, they are cancelled. 2 to the 4. So in the denominator, we will get 2 raised to the power 4. It is 25 and 2 raised to the power 4 is 60. Okay. So 64 upon 125 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 is equal to 25 divided by 16. Now consider 1 upon 256 divided by 625 raised to the power 1 by 4. We know that 1 upon x raised to the power m is equal to x raised to the power minus m. So using this rule we can write it as 256 upon 625 raised to the power minus 1 by 4 and further using this rule we can write it as 625 divided by 256 raised to the power 1 by 4. Now 625 is equal to 5 raised to the power 4 and 256 is equal to 2 raised to the power 8 and then whole raised to the power 1 by 4. Using this rule we can write it as 5 multiplied by multiplication of 4 and 1 by 4 and divided by 2 raised to the power multiplication of 8 and 1 by 4. 4 multiplied by 1 by 4 the result is 1 so in the numerator we will have 5 raised to the power 1 8 in multiplication with 1 by 4 so the result is 2 and we will have 2 raised to the power 2 so it is 5 upon 4 so second part 1 upon 256 divided by 625 raised to the power 1 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4 now let us consider third part third part is square root of 25 divided by cube root of 64 square root of 25 is 5 and cube root of 64 can be written as 64 raised to the power 1 by 3 we know that 64 is 2 raised to power 6 so it is 2 raised to the power 6 raised to the power 1 by 3. We can simplify it as 5 divided by 
2 raised to the power 6 in multiplication with 1 by 3. Numerator is as it is 5. 6 in multiplication with 1 by 3 is 2. So in the numerator, in the denominator we will have 2 raised to the power 2. It is 5 by 4. So the third part square root of 25 upon cube root of 64 is equal to 5 upon 4. Now after substituting the values of all three parts we will get 64 upon 125 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 plus 1 upon 256 divided by 625 raised to the power 1 by 4 plus square root of 25 upon cube root of 64 is equal to 25 by 16 which is value of first part then 5 by 4 5 by 4 is the value of second part and once again value of third part is also 5 by 4 so we can apply simple algebra here first part as it is 25 by 16 the second and third part can be added very easily it is 5 plus 5 upon 4 because they have same denominator so it is 25 divided by 16 plus 10 upon 4 now LCM of two denominators 4 and 16 is 16 so in order to turn 4 in 16 we will have to multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 see how the first part is as it is numerator 10 and denominator 4 both are multiplying by number 4 so the result is 25 divided by 16 plus 40 upon 16 now simply we can add them because they have same denominator so numerator we will have 25 plus 40 denominator is 16 finally we will get 65 divided by 16 this is the answer